Hello everyone, this is Deborah from Dinglefoot.com and of course this week I'm going to show you a really simple St. Patrick's Day card. So what I have is my green card and then I cut a little shamrock and this is from an old Sizzix die, the green ones, but just use whatever die cut you have or cut one by hand. I'm also going to be using my Labels 1 die. This is the very largest one from Nestabilities. And I printed a cute little saying. I thought it was kind of funny when I read it. It says, I'm not superstitious because it brings bad luck. And it's by Placido Domingo. And you can go to my website and download it with this font if you would like to have that. So I'm going to have to place my die over it and tape it in place because, of course, when you cut, it has to be this way. And we don't want our die moving around. So I'm going to tape that with some removable tape. I have four simple silver brads and I'm going to liven them up a little bit. I'll show you a way to liven them up so they don't have to just be boring brads. And I'm going to be using the lime green stickles and some glue for my card. And also, just to make the card a little bit fancier, I'm going to be using a Fisker's Border Punch. and. I will also use a corner rounder punch and the reason I'm going to use the corner rounder is because my label die has a rounded shape on the edges and it'll just make the card match a little bit more and I think I'll also add some pearls like I did on my example card here if you can see I just used a line of adhesive pearls like that and it just brightens up the card just a little bit let's go ahead and get started For my labels die, I'm going to just go ahead and tape it in place, like I said before, because we don't want it moving around. So just center it the way you want it on your paper. Just add a little bit of tape on each side. And go ahead and run it through your machine. On mine, I need to have it with the cutting edge up. And I think most machines are that way. Just add my little plastic shims and run that through. Each machine is going to be different. I just had to figure out how to use mine on the machine that I have. I have a Zippy Mate by Cut. So hopefully this has cut and it did. And see now that it's cut through this would easily come off, but I don't want it to. I'm going to take my double stick tape, or not double stick, this is just um, removable tape. I'm going to tape it in place because I'm going to emboss the edges and I really, really don't want this moving off the die. So just line it up. And we're going to run it through again. Okay, hopefully you can see here how nice that turned out. See that little embossed edge all the way around? just gives it such a nice look for your card. Before I do anything else, I'm going to take a punch. You could use a needle or whatever you have. And it's going to make a hole in each corner and place a brad through it. Okay. Simply insert your brads. And if you have any prongs sticking out, just take a wire cutter and just cut them off. I think I can arrange mine so that they're not sitting out. And you see the silver looks a little bit boring, but later on we can take our stickles and just put the green stickles on the top also and that'll make it look really nice. So it really doesn't matter too much what color of brad you have if it doesn't um, if it isn't too far off the color that you're needing for your project just put stickles on it and change the color. Okay, so there's the front of my card. All I need to do is grab Zots or some sort of adhesive and that will go right on the front of my card. And I think before I place it on there, I'm going to go ahead and take my border punch just so nothing will get in the way and just punch a nice little decorative border on my card. Okay, i got my cute little border on the bottom of the card. And I might as well, right now, just take my corner rounder. I'm just going to round all the corners on my card. Let's see here.
There we go. And this will match very nicely our little panel that goes right on the front. I'm going to attach that with sots, and I'm especially going to put them over the prongs of the brads because I don't want those to move around since they are a little bit long. We'll just make sure they're stuck for good. And let's see. I think I'll put one in the middle too. Okay, now I'll go right on the front of our card. And now for our little shamrock. I have that right here. I'm also going to grab a zot and see where we can put that on the card here. Okay, I think I'll just stick it on the side there, like that. And the way we make this look really awesome is to take our lime green stickles. I'm going to trace the whole way around the edge of that shamrock. And these are so neat because they come out so thin that you can just write with them or you can trace right around shapes. And it just adds such a great sparkle to your cards. It'll make a really plain card look really fantastic. So just trace that right around the whole shamrock. Okay. And then before I put stickles on the brads, I'm going to take the little pearl adhesive strips that I had and I'm going to add a little line to the top and to the bottom of my card. And you can get these kind of jewels just about anywhere, about any craft shop. It just makes it look so nice. So we'll just, and it's, since they're in a strip like that, of course you can make a straight line really, really easily. Okay, put those on there. Cut off the extra ones. And I will grab another strip and do the exact same thing to the bottom of my card. Just place it right along there between the brads. And again, just cut off the extra ones. They're perfect for another little project that you might have. And now, to finish off my card, I'm just going to take my stickles and just apply them right on top of these brads. So I'm going to have sparkle brads that match my card just perfectly, even though they started out as silver brads. Okay, so just go right over the top of each of those. And of course, these will take a couple hours to dry. If you're in a huge hurry, you can use your embossing heat tool but just make sure you don't hold it too close to the stickles or they will kind of burn and go a dull color instead of the nice sparkle that you want to have. So here we go. I'll show you up close. Really simple card that you can make for St. Patrick's Day. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to stop by dinglefoot.com for all your card making and scrapbooking needs.